Welcome back to Random Bears. Two Random Bears, and what do we got today? Today we got Samuel Adams, Porch Rocker. Porch Rocker, tart and refreshing. Yeah, you know? And you know, when you're trying a Sam Adams beer, most likely it's gonna go well. So, let's give it a try. Yes. It's got a lemon on it. It's already looking more of a summer beer. Yep, yep. Well, I'll show you the label. Has a nice little, le oh, it has a little lemon on it. Porch Rocker. Clear, light, as expected. Nice golden brown to it. Very golden. Golden brown. You know, I'm a, I'm a big fan of uh, Sam Adams beer. Always been. And I bet this is probably going to be the same, so. Mm, has a very citrus scent to it. Yeah, yeah. You can, there's a lemon on the front, and you smell the yeah. lemon. It smells like a clean house. It jumps at you. <laughs> yeah. That smell jumps at you. Mm. Mm. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Cheers to you. And to you as well. Wow. It's like a lemonade beer. That's refreshing. And I'm not gonna mean like a Mike's lemonade. This is just like bare texture, bare richness, but that not not sourish taste for like lemonade, but it's tart. Yes. Yes. So I've got well, yes, definitely, because I could taste it. Um, it's also thirst quenching. Yeah. A lot of beers don't have that thirst quenching quality to it. Yes. But this sure does. 4.5% alcohol. Not too bad, you know, if you just want to kick it outside. But I, 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 I will say a, a, on a hot day, a beer like this is dangerous because it's only 4.5 and you can toss these back. They taste they're so good, they're so thirst quenching, you can just toss them back. And they will catch up. Catch up for sure. Yeah, yeah, but I wouldn't mind that. It tastes really good. This is one of their better beers. Yeah, this is very good. I don't know if it's a seasonal one. Most likely, probably summer. Hopefully, it continues to be so. I would definitely buy this beer again. I will definitely buy this beer again and again and again. This is one of my favorite beers uh, from Sam Adams. Definitely try the um, Porsche Rocker. This is to me the quintessential ultimate summer grill. Agreed. Like and subscribe. Here, here. Cheer, cheer. Yes. Yar. Welcome to Random Bears. Two Random Bears, welcome back. And today we have for you Where's Brooklyn at? Brooklyn Lager. Yes. We've Lager Bry. Brooklyn brand. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna give this a try. It's actually pre prohibition style, um, and it's a direct descendant of the prohibition style favorite Vienna lager style, displaying a firm malt center, supported by refreshing bitterness and a floral, dry, hopped, you know, etc. It's really a true American uh, original. Yes, a true American original. Smooth, refreshing, but we'll be the judge of that. Uh, Brooklyn lager. Do that, my friend. I'm looking forward to this. Anything that claims to be a, a, a true American original. It better be a true Let's American original. Let's test her out, yeah. It has a nice color to it. It does. Really golden. Uh, a light golden. Is it, is it me or it looks a little light for a... It looks a little light for a lager. Get a good look at that, but it actually has a really nice golden look to it. I'm gonna take a little. More old mom? Yeah, something in it. Why not? It smells good. It does have yeah. that, that flowery aroma. Yeah, actually, it smells very pleasing. Uh, well, cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Hmm. 
bitterness. It says refreshing yeah. bitterness. They Never nailed it. it. Yeah. It started off bitter, but ended off refreshing. There is a bitterness, but I, I, I'm not a fan of bitterness, but this is actually a really good bitterness. Mm. Get a closer <clears throat> look at that. I don't, I don't mind the bitterness at all in this. Sometimes when I drink um, hops that have that extra bitter to it, bitter to it um, it's too bitter. Yeah. Where it's like, I, I can't really taste. Who enjoys this much bitterness? Yeah. This is a, a good amount of bitterness. Exactly. Um, smooth. It's smooth. I don't remember. I don't mind the bitterness because it's still refreshing. Um, and this is an American beer, and it's an American original. Yes. Yes. Very robust taste. Malty. You get that a really nice thick malt taste right when it when you taste it, but then it switches over to bitter, then to something crisp and refreshing. So, um, would you get this again? Hmm. I, I wouldn't buy it again. I would drink it again. It's definitely a drinkable beer, but I don't think I would go out and play to buy it. Uh, me, I don't think I would either. It's not what I go for, but I guess if you're into the hops, you're into something like mm. that, this could be the beer for you. Yeah, it's not a bad beer. No. I mean that bad way. You know, and that's probably saying a lot. If I'm saying I don't mind this beer and I'm not really a big fan of hops per se, uh, that's a good sign. That's a good sign for all you hop lovers out there. So Try it out. It's worth a try. It's worth a try. You know, and I'm going to yeah. finish it and I'm going to enjoy it. Yes. yes. We'll be back with two more random beers. Thanks for tuning.